the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Now it's getting to be an exciting time for someone in the room. That's right. Hey. The baby holiday is fast approaching for Ellie. Yeah, she's yeah, she's got some fake tan yep. on. Yeah, yep. a year <laughs> off. She's getting, she's getting Just her hanging out with the baby. The a bikini year off. ready to go. Get her hair done. Now you went to a parenting class last night. I tell, did. Us, tell us all about it. Because we're getting down to the business end, aren't we? We are. We're um, a month or so out, hopefully. Um, I went to a birthing parenting education course yesterday <laughs> with oh, wow. the Dugster, and it was four hours long. So it covered yeah. pretty much everything. It shouldn't take. You shouldn't be able to go to Bali in the time that <laughs> it takes so to true. be able to do that. It was very long. I, I never went to one. It's a big surprise. Um, how did you get Doug? <laughs> how did you get Dougie to hang in there for four bloody really hours? Because mate. you know what? In there, they teach you how to stop having them. <laughs> Yeah. Did you get that memo? <laughs> I just put it in his diary and I didn't give him the choice. Yeah. So that's how you do it in my household. But actually, funnily enough, like about three hours and 15 in, I had a pang, like a, like a thought, and I was like, oh, my God, I didn't blow out the candle. So I sent him home <gasps> early to because, check whether the I, house was burning down. The house was burning down in my head. I was like, you need to leave. He's like, really? Uh, he was secretly yeah. probably pretty happy. <laughs> he did that. He did that He mentally you. sent he me that. It. But anyway, I had actually... So had you blown out, yes, the blown out the candle? Yes, I blown out the Then he had to come back and get me. Sorry. <laughs> That's the best yeah. excuse to leave, isn't I know. it? Anywhere you are, oh my God, I've got to go home. I didn't blow out the candle. <laughs> <laughs> I believed it. I really believed it. Uh, there's an it. excuse you can use when you're on the. F- you don't want to speak to someone on the phone. Yeah. That's got, I've got to go. The toast. My toast has popped. Yeah. Because everyone knows popped. that you don't want cold butter on your toast. That's true. Um, did you learn anything? Useful. So yeah. do you feel prepared for I, what you're in for? I actually like feel a lot more relaxed about it now. Like, um, you know, we talked talk, talked about like pain and pain methods, and you know, the woman's body is designed to do this. It's not like pain mm. when you break your leg or something where the pain no, is constant. This it's, is, this it is, it comes in yeah. waves. You're designed to do this, and it'll be okay. But it was really funny because there was one section of the class where there was like an app you had to log into and, and submit anonymously your fears and like, mm-hmm. um, you oh, know, how cute. What yes. apprehensions, what you're worried about the most, and yeah. you know people are putting up, and they're coming up in like a word chart, like, yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. and it's going like, oh, um, looking after the baby, or pain, or blood loss, all this stuff, and then someone had written, pooping, <laughs> like, oh, uh, who, you're straining, them, so or, yeah, no, you them. while you're giving yes. birth, or yeah. the baby, yeah, yes. some, because yes. you're straining, and the educa- you're pushing with all your heart. Oh, no. Well, yeah, exactly. the educator just said, I'm just going to address this one right away, and you will. Oh, you will definitely oh poo yourself. No, so. Ellie. Um, so that was great. Ellie. But it was just so funny. Like, um, oh. I, Amy, Amy's, of course, had two beautiful children. Yes. They were just abusing me on the phone, by the way. Mm. Every day, your children abuse me. Mm. I love it. Mm. Mm. Why don't you talk about you. the lessons you learned, Amy, that you thought one was particularly ridiculous? Yeah. So uh, when you go into labour... They don't want you to, like, suddenly freak out and, and just, no. like, drive yourself straight yes, to the hospital. Yes, exactly. and, and speed and, and everything. And speed, yeah. uh, well, because that, that, it, could be a long, it could be a long uh, journey. But I do understand people that do, especially with your first. It's like, oh, yes. my, oh my right. God, yes. what yes. is about so to happen to my t- vagina? Yeah, that's so why they tell you this, yeah, right? Yeah, so they say, stay at home, yep. you know, uh, count your contraction, like, time your contractions, mm-hmm. and while you're doing that, Go bake a cake for your husband. Is that what they said? What they're saying yeah. is take yes. your time. Yeah. Like the time yeah. it takes to bake a yeah. cake. But yeah. really, are you really in the mindset to be baking I'm a sorry, cake? I want to say I think it's brilliant. That's now, great. I, do, That's th- so I think that any expected mother that rocks up to hospital should have a freshly baked cake <laughs> <laughs> for the staff. Hey, man, how, how great is that? All the nursing staff there. Every time someone's having a baby, they know they're having a sponge or a carrot cake or I something mean, fun. That wouldn't have worked for you. You were really quick. Uh, y- yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Well, Could you have taken in a bowl of two-minute noodles? <laughs> <laughs> Where was she feeding it? <laughs> the se- oh. James was. The second one was faster. Well, the, yeah. well, the second one the was shower. faster, but, like, my waters broke at, say, oh, it was around 10.30 p.m., and then we didn't get to King Eddie's until midnight. So, oh, so I, you so could have spent a good hour. You could have made a slice. Yeah, totally. So we spent an hour and a half. Yeah, a couple of flanges. Yeah. Contractions. Well, a cheesecake, and, yeah. really. I mean, yeah. the, the non-baked cheesecake yeah, should be able right. to whip that together. It's just cookie crumbs and refrigeration. <laughs> um, Ali, can I ask what your birthing plan? Uh, do you have the? Do you have music? You know how are you going to listen to whale sounds? Like, do you have anything? Yeah, oh, I don't, no, I don't that'll have be Dougie. Plan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Sean! Sean! Wow. Are you that, actually can you hear oh, yourself? Oh, I I thought God. Do you would laugh. filter anything? I can't anything? believe you just said that to a pregnant woman. Oh, my God. Give her God. a knife. 
<laughs> See what happens. Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> moving on from that free willy comment. <laughs> Talk to me. You're so you're in so much what trouble. Wasn't everyone laugh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> because we want to live. Yeah, that's right. Sean, we uh, laugh when she leaves. All oh, right, sorry. <laughs> Go, Ellie. What do you I mean? can't remember what you're talking about. Birth plan. Birth plan. So, so any music? Do you have a is there anything like any? <laughs> Sorry. 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 I'm like soothing now. She, she can't think. All she wants to do is think. murder Sean. I'm like the red curtain has descended. The mist has descended. I'm so angry now. <laughs> John. I don't have a birth plan. Is that John. what you're asking? No, I don't have a birth plan. Um, the plan is to give birth. The plan is to give birth. <laughs> yes, and whatever intervention you need, so, so be it. We would like you to tell um, Ellie all about labour. Mm. Uh, How was it for you? Yeah, yeah. And give us, you know, your funny story. Also, what's the most insulting thing that a person <laughs> has said to you while you're pregnant? <laughs> Can I call? George <laughs> sitting there, Ellie's making deep cuts across his <laughs> throat. Yes. He's him. crying with laughter. He's right. got tears running so down. So two down. things. Tell Ellie all about labour, you know. Do you want to tell us something you did that was a little bit strange during your birthing plan? Yeah, Maybe yeah. Ali yeah. can give it a go. And then on the flip side as well, tell us about the most insulting thing that somebody has said to you while you're pregnant. And also wish Welly, Ellie well Welly? because this is obviously her last day. She's not coming back after that. Hello, Brooke. Hi. Hi, Brooke. Brooke. Mm. All right. Um, Ellie is well, probably driving home right now. <laughs> <laughs> she will be wishing. listening to what you've got to say. So um, six years ago, I gave birth to my first and um, had been to the hospital, but they sent me home because I was only just dilated. Yes. And they said, don't come back until like four in the afternoon. If you're first, you'll be ages. Um, that was at 10.30 in the morning. I was back there at one o'clock and pushing in the car park <laughs> while my husband's getting a parking ticket. Oh, they gave him a ticket? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, someone can't just be crowning and, was, and you give it... No, no, he was... He was getting oh, a no, ticket. He was, oh, he was getting a parking ticket. Yes, you're buying a so. parking ticket yes. while I'm pushing in the car park. Oh. Yeah. And then once we got to the ward, um, there was no midwives or anything around, so they sent a junior doctor in to help me. And she said, oh, you're 10 centimetres dilated. I said, yep, I'm pushing like it's coming. And she said, but your membranes are still intact. My waters hadn't broken. Yes. Um, and then so she said, I said, look, I really need to push. And she said, yeah, that's fine. You can push. So I pushed and honestly it burst in her face. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, like when thrown a water balloon at her. It was everywhere, yeah. like three, three metres. It went everywhere. Her like mouth wasn't room. open, was it? Oh, she was devastated. She goes, it got me in the eye. Her, she had like, she threw a lanyard off. She, her hair was like soaking wet. <laughs> and my my husband and I just cracked up. I just couldn't, <laughs> couldn't hold it together. I didn't think there was anything worse than someone spitting in your face until no, I was heard it from that. that yeah. <laughs> I guess it's kind of the yeah. same. Ellie's back, everybody. Hey, 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 hi, Ellie. Did you hear that? Someone gave birth in a car park? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Got it from the car park. The quickly, June... quickly. T- 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 tell <laughs> Ellie again, quickly. Brooke? So, so um, I was 10, centi- 10 centimetres dilated when I first got into the hospital and the junior doctor said, your membranes are still intact. I said, yeah, my waters haven't broken. She goes, and I said to her, I need to push. So I pushed and she goes, that's fine, you can push. I pushed and my waters broke in her face. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that alert. Uh, yeah, what did you do? Did you just pull out like, so like, a, like, a, like a small comb, like <laughs> yes. in Greece, and slick your hair back and keep going? It's not a great day at work, <laughs> is so it? Good. Thanks, Brooke. Uh, Sarah's oh, in Bottle Grove. Hello. Funny. Hi, Sarah. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Hi, Sarah. What happened when you were in labour, Sarah? <laughs> oh, golly. So, um, it was eight years ago with my daughter, and I started uh, contractions five minutes apart, and I was at home with my husband. And so he called his mum over um, to watch our son. And um, uh, I also called my midwife and she's like, okay, well, I'm in Northbridge, meet me in Northbridge. And so my husband gets in the car, but obviously I left the fuel get really low. So um, (laughs) (laughs) the light was on. He's like, the light's on. I said, oh, I forgot. I I needed to fuel up. So he, he had to fuel up and then skip the queue and I'm still contracting five minutes apart and I swear I was going to have her in the car and I called my midwife she's like just um, meet me at this booze bus spot in Northbridge at a booze bus people, spot she, she was like meet me halfway we'll go together and it was like okay so um, there's people everywhere it's about 11, 11 o'clock at night by this stage um, in Northbridge oh she was and, out on uh, the piss 
No, 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 no. She's a, she's a community she's midwife. A, oh, I can't. I thought she was just yeah. that drinker. Yeah. 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 Pick her up for a bump roll. No. It's cheaper than an Uber, Nathan. <laughs> Surge price, you know. Yeah, swing by Red yeah. to get me. So, so, yeah, what happened next, Sarah? Okay, so I got there and um, the police actually say to us, okay, we'll be fast to get in our car. So I, I get on the um, back of the police car with oh. my midwife. My husband's like, can you follow? Can I follow? <laughs> and he, he did tell me eventually that it was like, he was going so fast. Anyways, so... They were running lights, and um, oh, wow. I, my midwife goes, um, you know, it's King Eddie's, right? And they're like, oh, you know, they were going to the wrong hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh. And I was still contracting five minutes apart. Anyway, so we, we get dropped off. We get entrance into the back way, the back of the hospital, and um, my midwife assessed me. And she's like, you're, you're not even dilated. I'm like, what? Oh, what? What are you talking about? She's like, um, this is called an irritable uterus. Um, <gasps> and so she's like, you still experience the contractions, like regular uh, birth contractions, except you don't actually dilate. And um, that happened another two more times after that. So it's like a false so, like so, 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 so you were being, you, you got a police escort, <laughs> not even a police escort, you were yeah. in a police car and taken that and yeah. you weren't giving birth? Yes, no. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. All right. Irritable uterus. We're going to take some more. Uh, Chelsea's in Dutch. Hello. Hello. Hi, Chelsea. Chelsea. Okay, tell Ellie everything that happened. (laughs) Okay, so um, I had quite a tough time with my first pregnancy. I had the irritable uterus as well. Mm. Um, And. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that such a funny guy. Yeah, we've, we've got the irritable woman. Yeah, we've got it. <laughs> now, I live with one sometimes. Yeah. Um, I I uh, got quite sick towards the end. I had preeclampsia. Yeah. Oh. Um, which can make you quite ill. Mm. Um, so they admitted me to hospital and kept me for a few days and then decided that baby was better out than in, so they decided to induce me. Mm. Yeah. So... Um, they woke me up nice and early. He took me through at like 6 a.m. and they had to um, break my waters as well. Um, but because I'm not dilated at all, they had to break my waters with like a hook thing that basically <laughs> was what going hook through. Thing? It's, it's like a metal hook, plastic hook yeah. thing that they have to like. You like know, something you'd use for like so, like making a quilt. Yeah. Catching a snapper. Yeah. Like, like, a, quick, a, like, a, like a quick Like a quick un, quick unpick. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Exactly Longer. Like oh, no. Longer handle. No. Keep going. Oh, my God. So I was, like, they they'd kind of break my waters and I had to have a few goes because I couldn't get it. And I'm, like, excruciating pain, like, backing myself up the bed. And oh, my good. husband, my husband, who's a personal trainer, walks in and he's like, Good morning! We're going to have a baby! <laughs> <laughs> this is why guns shouldn't be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a full rise to just blow his head off at that stage. <laughs> All the midwives are looking at him like, shut up. Like, shut up. Shut immediately up. get out. can't talk to you right now. Come and help her. And he's like, what's going on? And they're like, um, she can't talk to you. Anyway, so then we're going through the, you know, everything, and he turns like full personal trainer mode and tries to like oh. personal train me. Yeah, yeah. inspire you. Oh, I know. Oh. I can imagine Chelsea. I'd, I'd be that person, and yeah, I know don't be that yeah, person, yeah. guys. Now don't punch it, punch it, punch it. That's it. It's He's not the like, same as doing do burpees. It. You can do it. <laughs> Oh. I, was, I was ready to punch him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that hook, the Amni, yeah. the Amni hook. Oh, so I'm right, it's like a quick hump bit. Yeah. Like oh, a little I crochet that hook. Oh, God. Oh, thanks, Chelsea. Uh, oh, Ellie. Kim's in Atwell. This Hello. This is happening to you soon. Hi, guys. How are you? Hey, oh, Kim. I'm not Gee, sure that Ellie's feeling more confident about the experience, know. but what happened to you? <laughs> Uh, so this was with baby number two. Um, all three of my babies were under an hour from start to finish. <gasps> oh, my God. Um, no time for a cake. <laughs> no, no. So number two woke up and I'm like, oh, ran the hospital. They're like, look, you've got plenty of time. Have a shower. Have your breakfast. Don't worry about it. Anyway, the contractions are getting quicker. 
said to hubby, I think we should go into hospital. So he's been to the dad class. The dad class has said, don't worry, take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah, and what you I need is a man to... telling you how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're in the car. We've got a 20-minute ride to the, to the city. This was in Adelaide at the time. Yeah. And he stops at every red light at 6 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> oh, no. and you have got to put your foot down. Anyway, we got to about 10 minutes down the road and I'm like getting the urge to push <gasps> and another 10 he's driving Miss Daisy every red line <laughs> <laughs> so to get going knowing that my first baby was quick so we get to near the hospital and I put my hand down his hand down and I said the baby's head is coming out yes. you have got to put your foot down Whoa. he's like oh yeah okay let's go Get to the hospital. He's pulled into the front door um, near the emergency. Yeah. Has run around and in this stage, I'm um, pushing the head is already out. <gasps> uh, in the car, <laughs> uh, he's run round to get uh, a nurse. The nurse has run, slipped over oh. in the doorway. And you know the doors that open and close? Yes, yeah. they're closing on her. <laughs> She's in the doorway. The door, the doors are opening and closing. <laughs> I want to see this. By oh the time God. someone's gone and helped her, I've already had the baby. Nobody's in the car with no me. No way. So you've had it by yourself. I've had the baby by myself. I had those harem pants on. Yeah, you know, yes. the, the baby has gone down the leg. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh yeah. Did you, so, did you get up and just shake the baby out of your, the bottom your, of your trouser pants? <laughs> The whole time, all that I can think of is my car is going to be ruined. Well, that was just, um, that's what I was thinking was too. One thing in the car. It was because it was in your pants. So, yeah, so you kept it in your pants. The baby was caught in my hair and pants. So, yeah, wear hair and pants. They're a good cat. There you okay, go. That's a great like, piece of you know advice. Those are those pants that we all buy were in Bali and never yeah. wear yeah. when we're back here. The, the ones with the on elephants them. on them. Yeah, yes. yeah Ellie's got whales on them, though. <laughs> Natalie! Imagine imagine <laughs> having a whole that. hospital of people <laughs> there sure. waiting to help you, but yet you're, ha- you're like two metres away from it. Yes. Having the baby by yourself. Well, well, <laughs> well. One of the professionals are supposed to be having to use their heads lying. being crushed by the <laughs> by the automatic doors. Kim, what a tale! Thank oh. you, everybody. Does that make oh. you feel better or worse, Ellie? Um, I'm definitely going to go and buy some harem pants. Yeah, if anyone's ba- in Bali, bring some. Pants That's what we take away yeah. from this: yeah. is harem oh, pants. Oh, Sean, this yeah. is the week for education. So tomorrow we're just going to give people the heads up. Tomorrow mm. we're thinking that we may speak to midwives. God, they've had it tough. Because <laughs> after knowing that midwife had. It was a junior doctor, yeah. Well, that junior doctor mm. had the... Yeah, the yeah. water break in the their face. The water break right in your, your face. face. The water break in your face. Is there ever any coming back from that? <laughs> I don't think there like, is. Honestly. Like, it's not enough Garnier don't you to think? get that out of there. Oh, my That's God. Amazing. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Or the police and the organisers of Vivid had to de- defend their response to the huge crowds on Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, amazing. Saw this. Apparently the crowds were insane. Yeah. People were saying that they don't think they've ever been that scared in their life. And they reckon that everyone was being sort of like shepherded down these like narrow paths or whatever. And then it was uh, just a random guy that ended up moving one of the barriers out of the way, which saved everyone from being mm. crushed. Because I reckon you could feel that was the moment that there was going to be a big crowd yeah. crush happening. Totally. And we've just, seen these overseas. Yeah. Yeah, if there's nowhere for that crowd to go to, yeah. the, the pressure from behind starts to really mount up. And yeah, it's it's funneled into a, you know a, a crush point, essentially. <sighs> I, I, I've Terrifying. Never, I don't think of big crowds like that in Australia. I always just think overseas when I was in Hong Kong. The scariest thing that I was ever a part of was um, New Year's Eve on the MTR. Mm. Um, and it was, would have been probably about 10 o'clock at night. And I'd just come from shopping at the markets. And I just and I had bags of shopping and I went down to the to catch the train. You're really living shopping mm. on New Year's Eve. Mm. Oh, Sean, there was some, <laughs> there was some specials that I needed to get. I, totally, some, get, I totally get it. There were some deals. Had to get some fake. It's the Morris Had to way. get some fake G-Shock watches. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait till the next day. I could not no. wait till the next day. Yeah. Was actually scared. I was yeah. actually scared. And the worst thing is my um, my bag broke, um, and I and so all these watches fell out everywhere. So I was like trying to pick up watches and stuff like that, and then just trying to carry all my stuff. And yeah. I ended up leaving that train because everyone was just. 
sort of just naturally going with it. And I'm quite taller than everyone yeah, else. So say. it's not as frightening as no. uh, you wouldn't think for me. I end up leaving there and then someone said to me, you will not get a cab back. And I walked for probably an hour, an hour and a half until some did random you, cab Did you know it was that or was that fake G-Shock time? <laughs> 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 Is it really an hour and a half? I got one in every colour. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 a taxi driver lady, she, she ended up pulling over and mm. she said taxis weren't officially allowed to take me into the it's, area yeah. where I was going yeah. to, but she ended up taking me because she felt so sorry for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but have you have you experienced yeah. a really scary crowd? In, and, and it was in Paris, similarly, like when you're, when you're away. And we, it wasn't a crowd I wanted to be a part of, but yeah. we were trying to get from our hotel to the train station because we were going to meet some friends who were on the other side, like on the other side of the river, basically. And so, but there was a street parade going on and it was sort of like a carnival kind of vibe. So, yeah. like, you know... Feathers the, and uh, yeah, lo- yeah, lots of bands and music. And, and the crowd was really thick and we had to get... Um, across the road, for starters. So um, we managed to do that. But then we're kind of at the front of the crowd trying to push back towards the entrance to the train station. Yeah. And the entrances to the train station, they closed off the ones on the far side, so you had to go th- into the thick of the crowd to get down oh. the stairs, right? You had to go oh, yeah. through it. You had to go deep into it. And all these people don't want you there because they're trying to get yes. a front row uh, view of the parade. And so you had, to, and to, you had to get around these barriers to go downstairs. And there's lots of people trying to do exactly that because the other one was chained shut. And so the pressure to get around the railing like it literally we had to stand there and let children go through because they would have been pushed up hard against the the um barriers the, and then you you're almost falling down the stairs as the crowd's pushing you down it was like i was like we got to get out of here this is this is bad. What, yeah. Because what is that pressure, you could feel yourself oh. just being pushed. People are just pushing and shoving, trying to get through, and it's like there's nowhere to go. One of these yeah. people um, that were at Vivid, they said that um, they managed to get pushed up against the wall near one of the hotels on George Street, and they had yeah, people it was passing Sydney, by the way. Yeah. We haven't said that. Um, yeah. uh, there's small children to a place on a windowsill behind me where yes. we remained until it was safe to move. I had two younger girls asked to hold on to my jacket. Some people were yes. crying. Other people were abusive to one another. Though people were distressed. That, it's all, it's a yeah, horrible feeling. That's yeah. horrible. Yeah, because we, we see the news. We know what can happen. Yeah, yeah. we want to know the scariest crowd that you've ever been in. Where in the world were you and what happened? Becca's in Rockingham. Hello. Good morning, guys. Hi, hey, Beck. Beck. When have you been in a scary crowd? Yeah, uh, Buckingham Palace. What? It is out of control. Yeah. <laughs> really? Once, once you get in there, you can't get out for at least... Two hours. It's like trying to wade your way back to the train station. There's pink pelicans cutting off traffic. There's um, like horses which are cutting through the streets, and people are just trying to cross over to get as close as they can. But in the meantime, they're shoving everyone in the back. Was there um, anything in particular, there. Rebecca? You were watching <laughs> like that was event, taking place, or that was just it's a the, normal day? Yeah, it's the um, the guards. So changing the, of the guards. Um, yeah, yeah, the changing of the guards. Happens every day, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, every day. So that every crowd day like there that. every day. Yeah, like tourists, there's that many tourists that visit. And, um, yeah, it's just at one point I lost my partner, which was hilarious <laughs> because I'm, like, seeing him about, like, 500 metres away, but I just couldn't get to him. So it was like, what, if you, like, what, what if you didn't hear from him for years and then next minute you see he's, oh. like, married one of the royals? <laughs> <laughs> the lesser royal, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah it's so, actually, like, you don't expect that kind of panic when you're just going to, like, a little no. tourist destination, but it was And it wasn't chaos. a particular event or anything. But so think about yeah. that, though. The, yeah, the, you don't expect that. So no. everyone prepare yourself. And it's the safety of the royal family. That's all those guards are there doing. They have mm. that yeah. mass crowd outside all the time. Mm. That must be on high alert 24 hours a day. Yeah, and that's it. Like, you, you, I suppose in a dense crowd like that, it's just, yeah, anything could happen. So, yeah, yeah. quite yeah. funny. Definitely. Wow. Well, I never would have thought Buckingham Palace. No, thanks, no. Meg. On a regular day. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Melinda's in Ocean Reef. Hello. Hi, how are you going? Hi, good, Melinda. Melinda. When were you scared in a crowd, Mel? Oh, well, uh, many years ago with my husband, we went to Pamplona to the running of the bulls. It was a last minute thing and we met some, uh, we met people and they said, we're going, you want to come? So we thought it was a great idea at the time. Yeah. So we um, went and, um, of course, the crowds are really crazy, like mm. this town inflates like 100% from its original population. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway, so you go and you get a position, and we had quite a good position. Oh. Anyway, um, the 
the people are obviously there's no not many public toilets, so people just urinate in the <laughs> toilet. Oh, so it's just like the OBH. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So literally streams of urine running down the street. Oh, right? oh really? So don't put that I in the pamphlets. Got really, yeah, I got really nauseous, so I said, "Look, I'm just going to go and sit down until it actually starts." So I just found this place, sort of sat down on the curb side for a little minute. Anyway, it was sort of getting close to the time, so then I. My attempt to try and get back into where my husband was was like, yeah, insane because people were really rude and just, yeah, obviously yeah. wouldn't let me get back to where it was. But yeah, it was just, yeah, so the so, crowd. Uh, were you was, going to yeah. run with the bulls? No, gosh, no. Are oh, you crazy? God. No. So you, just, you no, were trying to get a position crazy. to watch them? That, people, yeah. No, yeah. People just get. Bit, yeah. No, it's yeah, like the crowd. We're just watching it at the moment, actually. Yeah. So a, a lot of my mates uh, did this when they went to Europe. So mm. you can start off and be miles ahead of the. So they've run with the bulls, but they were. Yes. If you look they ahead, they were anywhere near the bulls. <laughs> oh, like, so you can like say I've ran with the bulls, but the bulls so, like so four right kilometres back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? You don't want to be behind a bull. You don't want to be in front of a bull. You're just waiting for that horn to go yeah, up your ass. Exactly. <laughs> you're don't you off think? Behind, yes, of course. Sure. That's a goring. I know, extraordinary. That is a goring. That's going to be on your mind. Thank you. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. Oh, I regret this already. You should be. On the Tiki Talks in yes. 2021, something went viral and it's made a resurgence to the point where two companies now are thinking of combining together for a collab. No. Because apparently this is so good. Is it? I am talking about tomato ketchup on a Kit Kat. Said now, nobody. This, Caitlin Bazza looks disgusted. People have put their on, their reactions online. This guy on TikTok, um, uh, he likes it. <laughs> Does the government know about this? This feels illegal. This should be illegal. <laughs> well, the Chinese government know about it. Know. <laughs> it can't be good. These people that be. say amazing combinations of stuff, yes. I don't believe any They're of them, Caitlin. Wrong. They're all wrong. There we go. How does I, it I work? think everyone, the best way to do it is just source two fingers and go for it. Excuse me? What? Source two fingers? Oh. Give Natalie, give Natalie her two fingers. I'm oh, sorry, now. <laughs> I thought this was... I was going solo there. No, sorry, they're $3.75 yeah. from the server this morning. I don't have the what money for that. What a stitch up. I like, thought there would have been a two for deal. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, no, no, no. You, so what they do is they put it you on there it and you've got to put a bit on there. Got to put it all over now. Yeah, you got to put a bit on there like that. Oh shit, mate, that's a lot. But I know, but that's what they're doing in the video, Sean. No, you got to. I saw is, another guy oh, rub it stripping. in. Yeah, yeah, he rubbed it in the gap. I reckon they're just secretly using, like, strawberry jam. Natalie, you don't, she'd be such a lady, she's doing one just, finger. Yeah, I'm a, I, I know my limits. She's a lady. All right, ready? You she's go just first, Nathan. All right, I let's like do it. No, let's just all do it together. Let's all do it together. Harry, I'm giving you some in a second. Okay. Right away, great. Right. Nah. Ugh. It's not oh, good. Right. Oh, shit. It's not bad. Oh, God. No, it's not. You wouldn't choose it. I mean, you shouldn't be out putting ketchup on your chocolate. It's not... <laughs> if you look at the first it's ingredient in ketchup, it's not as though, bad as sugar. what? It's literally putting sugar no, on sugar. No, once you get to the chocolate, you get the chocolate, so... Yeah, but no. Yeah. Well, the, no, you, you taste the sauce, and as soon as you hit the chocolate, it cancels out the sauce. So might as well just you not have the sauce, then. Then. Yeah, but why are you not having then the sauce? Then why have the sauce? Don't, yeah. Then why are people sourcing chocolate? It. Harry loves it. Do you like it, Harry? Harry loves it. I think I need more tomato sauce hey on that. Hey, yeah. Mm. There you go. I'm eating the it. rest of my finger just mm. without the sauce to naked. To yeah, sorry, naked don't. Finger. Natalie loves a bare finger. Mm. <laughs> All right, Harry. Harry Caitlin's up. having two bare fingers. I got two right? fingers. Yeah. <laughs> don't right. mess with the classic. Now Harry, now Harry, like pile it on. I'll load it up. I'll load, load it, it up. Okay, hang on. Load it up. They can't oh, say that's better enough. than a Kit Kat. No way. No. No. It doesn't Tomato even worry sauce oh, no. on a Kit Kat. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? That's gross, man. I can't even watch you do this. No. There's no point um, to that. No. It doesn't no. matter. You know, I, I think you mentioned it's just we're going through that era where people just go, ah, oh, people are that. just whacking but, stuff on things and then acting like it goes content. viral. What's the point of that? Sure, it doesn't make you throw up, but it doesn't make me want to source my chocolates. No. <laughs> Can you please ask Nagy about this when you get her on the show yeah. coming up? Oh, I'm so jealous. She's I the know. Best. Recipe TV. I, oh, I forgot we're having her on. She's yeah. the best. She's on next week. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. She's ask so her. good. Make her do this. No, she would never. This is why she can go viral on her own. Right. Good food. The TikTok is full of lies. Yeah, it's true, mate. And this is how you discovered it. The TikTok is full of lies. But anyway, we're going to do a dance about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, tomorrow we're going to try a bounty with some mayonnaise. <laughs> that actually might be all right.
Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.